character in Smash. And uh, that definitely needs to be brought to light a little bit more. Getting right into it. Gonna see this same green team rocking the same color. And the four Mafia tags still staying on the table. Shout outs to New England. Mafia housing R2 d before Shine. Super destroying him and uploading the f uh, one of the better pieces of melee or one of the better pieces of content to Philadelphia Melee. Definitely better than Rohit's most recent post. I'm gonna shave. Definitely work on the meme game, Rohit. That was probably your weakest performance yet. And uh, and posting a or attempting to post a sticky note onto David. Uh, David reacting to it does a getup attack. Kind of. Debates spot dodging it. You can see it at first. He wasn't really looking out for it. And uh, Mafia got pretty close. But at the last second, he was able to react in time and uh, swatted it away. Still find that uh, in the Philadelphia Melee Facebook page. Uh, I guess we can talk about this a little bit. Seven stocks. So this Peach doing a little bit more work than uh, Valerie by holding on to this stock and, and keeping his team up one. So this is... Sponsor Groden and Mars. Unfortunately, not Call Me Mars, a face that we would love to see around more, a Falco that was on the way out as I was on the way in. Unfortunately, I did not really get to play with him too much. But uh, Marcel, a fantastic, phenomenal Falco player and has many good wins under his name. Uh, five stocks to five. Flamin' Dude not able to help out his teammate, so he forfeited a stock fairly early and forfeited that lead as well. Oh my god. Just lets goes and side Bs. Definitely can say, or definitely can't say I've never done that before. And just like that blue team with a lead, oh my god. So I think the reason why that was such a meaty down smash is Falcon was going for down throw, so he was holding down on his stick. Even if he buffered the throw with the C stick, the, regard, the result would have been the same. Just a full, full damage, max combo down smash from Peach, and then I'm not sure what Flamin' Dude was doing in the area that got him involved right after that. I kind of need to be aware of, I mean, I just think the green team needs a little bit more game awareness in terms of where they are, what positions that, they're, uh, that their opponents are in in terms of the crouching and just physically where they are on platforms, and also each other. Uh, this game, we've seen a lot more of them hitting each other. Just like that. Uh, also, once again, can't not say I definitely shine spike Brian at like 13 in one of our games. Oh man, some it's really coming apart. Just all downhill, the wheels are coming off. They were doing pretty damn well, and just just like that, melee. Oh my God, hits him with the button trap, makes him pick up the platform. <laughs> Falcon definitely spiked the turn up back at Peach. The way he threw it, he was so upset. He looked like th he was throwing a magazine or something after his girlfriend walking into the other room after an argument. Can't throw anything too hard, but uh, definitely want to let him know for the one time. Game one to weird team names and Mars. We'll see if there's a switch. If the Fox will stay out or if the Falco will make its appearance and show the big flaming dude. Ops for the Falco pick. And we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what they make of this. However, because of this, YOLO has to be even more careful. It was mostly Flaming Dude that was hitting YOLO, but if YOLO does happen to catch uh, his own teammate with a rogue hitbox, that very well could spell doom for the Falco. Falco, a team's character, as a team's character, vastly underrated and overlooked because of a stunted recovery, but with a good teammate that is there to not only open up the ledge, but also save him from time to time, can definitely put in work and his lasers when used properly and when used in the right situations can do a lot of work for him not only saving teammates but also off stage but also locking opponents down uh really isolating them and boxing them out he's just got to be careful not to shoot his own teammate out of combos and into them much like falcon just got hit like uh as i said it so game two to fd this is green team's counter pick Odd choice to say the least. Uh, YOLO and edge cancel, shield drop, look at me move on these platforms sort of Falcon. And Falco kind of loses some of his uh, survivability in terms of his recovery options and a little bit of his combo game. You gotta let your partner hit that. There was no reason to do that because 
it literally did not matter what hitbox Falco hit him with. Uh, he wasn't going to KO. It was not going to be a kill move, whereas that knee, as you saw, straight out, flat out ended the stock. No need to jump into that. A very tantalizing knockback on the down throw, to say the least. But you also got to remember that you're not the only one on the screen. And it's also very tantalizing for Falcon. And Falcon packs a little bit more of a punch, especially horizontally, than Falco. Falco's F smash and, uh, and down air being super, super good kill moves. But off of a Falcon throw, just let him do the job, man. Let him do his work. It, it is an interesting and fragile balance. Oh my god, it kills him off the top? A great team save attempt, but Falco a little bit too overpowered for his own good. Kills uh kills Yolo off the top. Super unfortunate. Um, so it's it's a fine balance they need to strike between singles combos and uh, and, and teams KOs. So sometimes you just want to build the damage with your single stuff, but every once in a while, or no, not every once in a while, more often than not, you really want to go for team combos because any like most people and. You know, this can be said for all characters. The reason why they can't continue certain combos is just because lag and lag on their moves and positioning. However, when you apply that to a second person, another player... Oh my god, spikes his partner off the bottom. Holy crap. Um, when you apply that to a second person, that weakness is suddenly gone. The other person is in the right position to hit and can put out the proper hitbox. And in the time it takes to do that... Flame Dude almost killed himself. In the time it takes to do that, you can, uh, you as the original thrower can just set yourself up to be in the next position for the next hit. And that just goes back and forth, round and round. Ooh, shining team save. Finally, green team with a decent play. <laughs> almost needing his partner, though. We really need to see them, honestly, just play farther away from each other. They're both trying to cover the same options. They should probably just focus on 1v1s. Flame and Dude getting a little bit too intimate and involved at times. Spikes his teammate again. Just poor team synergy. That's the story of the set. That's all you can say. Freaking awful DI. Get the hell out of here. DI that throw straight down. That will do it. That was, um. If you were watching, I hope you're sad with me. That was not a good showing from Green Team. Definitely capable of a lot more. Credit to blue team though, able to uh, capitalize on green team's mistakes and, and doing what they do well. The Peach found a lot of down smashes, which also should have been an indication that Flamin' Dude and Yolo need to play farther away from each other because they were both getting down smashed a lot. We'll see what's coming up on stream. If Brian sits down, then I'll go grab a commentator because that's my teammate and that means we're up. I can't really hear. Type exclamation point bracket for tonight's bracket smash.gg slash salt46 will also get you there. Uh, top players include the White Hawk Griffith, the player formerly known as Smokey.